Dust.io back with a review and a follow-up. So we're going to start it tonight off with the SOG Power Leader. This little fella I have been carrying up until today for a two-week standard review. So, uh, as a recap, it has several internal tools, or external tools in this case, uh, consisting of a knife, you have a vicious awl, a nice little flat head, it's uh, pretty fine, a little bit loose in there. Um, you've got a nice box cutter slash strap cutter. You have this system, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. So you get it out, you uh, screw it in first, and then that little thing right there, like once you get down to it, will allow you to hook onto a lid and pull a cork out. A lip, I guess. On the other side, we have a primary of scissors. Got to do the snip, snip, and they've uh, they've proven okay, not the best, but also not terrible. You have um, a Phillips and a little. It's a bitsy can opener, and I think there's a bottle opener as well, right there. And then the coolest part for me has to be this. This is a quarter inch bit driver, and it has a latching mechanism right um, there. So you'll get the bit in there. Let me grab a bit to demonstrate with. That's a quarter inch um, extender. You just kind of prop it open a little bit, close it, and that'll hold it because it has a magnet on one side. As you can see, it leans that way because there's a magnet gripping it. But you get that in there, it's not going anywhere. And then you can latch it down. Uh, hang on. It's being a little bit stubborn. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, oh, there it goes. All right. You can see how that's latched. It's not opening. This is not going anywhere at all whatsoever. Pardon the extra noise. So there's that. And uh, I'm going to give you just a few concluding thoughts. Um, what do I think of this tool in general? Do I recommend it? Do I not? I recommend it to the right person. So there are tools which are great for 90% of people. And then there are tools that are not great for everyone. And then there are tools like this that it's, it's a perfect in-between of say a full-on Leatherman and like a, a micro tool. Let me demonstrate here. This is a curl. And let me grab a smaller micro tool. Real fast. Hold on. And that is a Leatherman squirt. So you have three different classes of tool here. And then there's a there's another step up, of course, you have your uh, really beefy tools. That is a Leatherman, as I like to call it affectionately, splurge, super surge. Um, this was a pain in the ass, and I do regret some of it. I really messed up the uh, that, trying to get it to fit on the other side so I could put scissors here, but uh, it didn't work out for me. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a really cool project if you're willing to put in the time and make mistakes. Because I can't afford either a replacement tool at this point. But um, overall, I don't really regret it. Anyhow, back to the point. The power leader. 
So you can see there's just four different sizes here. You have a small, well, tiny, small, medium, large. And with that, there is a noticeable decrease and increase of certain properties. Carryability goes from here to here to here to here. Usefulness goes from here to here to here to here. But the thing is that this is much more useful than I'd say a lot of other tools in its range would be. It outclasses this in every way, and yet it's not as big as this. And with that, it's a little bit lighter. Some of my criticisms are that this is just a little bit bulky. It gets annoying sometimes trying to fit that in your pocket because it'll snag if that's not in properly. And um, somewhat, it's a little bit... Uh, I mean, when it's open, it's not uncomfortable. I really like the gear ratio system. It, it really does increase the gripping power of this multi-tool in a way that I was not expecting. It acts more like this. In fact, it grips better than this a lot of the time. So like, I'll demonstrate by applying a little tiny bit of force. I am barely squeezing now. And uh, if you take this, the same force does nothing. I, I'm applying about three times the force to get there. A similar result. Excuse the bad demonstration. These pliers are a really nice mid-ground, and I'd say that they are nice. I like them. They're more useful than those of the squirt, which are itsy, bitsy. Sorry about bumping, bunking the uh, Popping the camera, geez. So, you'll notice that they are a little bit more needle nose. They are larger, and I found them more capable. The tool itself is not that much larger in general. It's not. It's, it's just, it's really nice for me as a secondary, because I'm the type of person to pocket carry like a, a surge. I do. I do, <laughs> I do not care about weight. To me, comfort is being prepared for anything, even at home. But for someone who doesn't want that much weight and still wants a lot of capability, a tool like this, the Power Leader, or the Power Pint, would be really, really nice. My only real gripes with this tool um, tend to be, again, that awkward bulkiness right here. The awkward... There is a little bit of a difficulty getting to some of the tools. Like, um, I can't, it takes a lot of effort to get that out. So, in my case, I wanted quick access to the um, box opener slash strap cutter. So I put this little electrical tape pull tab on here. And that makes it so I can just grab and go. But... Otherwise, if you want to get to that tool immediately, you have to move that to the side and pull it out. Or, vice versa, the other set. All of those. And it's just, um, like with this and where you can kind of grab it from the top. It's manageable. My issue isn't with the tools themselves, just how they deploy. And it's not a deal breaker for me by any means. It's just a little bit inconvenient. Next up, the scissors, um, while I like them, are not the best uh, for comparison, I tend to actually like the scissors on the squirt a little bit more. And that isn't for cutability, but they're just a little bit more comfortable, and I feel like they open up a little bit wider, honestly, at least uh, naturally under the spring tension. They just, um, they have a little bit more of a fluid motion, and there isn't that much difference in cutting edge. Um, for the lock mechanism, it's interesting. Uh, after you get used to it, you can kind of finagle, if you have nails, you can close stuff with just the one, well, it's closed, like your thumbnail. But if you don't, you're going to have to open it up every single time to close it. The um, ruler I did not get to test out. 
Um, but it seems like it would work just fine. I mean, you're not going to get the in-between, but it's still cool that it's there. And um, my only other issue is the rattliness. There's just a little bit of a... I've noticed it's like this screwdriver in particular, and I did tighten the side so that it would stop doing that. Sorry about my background there. It's uh, slipping all over the place today. Um, but like when it's deployed, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. It's got a good lockup. So my overall impressions of this tool are that it is worthy. And that's like, it. Kind of, I'm a hardcore Leatherman fan. You can see the three Leathermans down here. I like Leatherman. I hate uh, Gerber, mostly because everyone I've had has broken. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to say it now. I did film a follow-up video on the diesel, and I didn't feel... I was just so... Uh, I haven't posted it yet because I didn't like it, but I've already gotten rid of the tool. So there's the issue for that. Uh, that's how much I hate it, though. I got rid of it as soon as I could. Uh, it just did. There's everything wrong with it. Um, but as someone who has been like diehard loyal to Leatherman, um. I really like this tool, and for me, it's a really good secondary, something to tuck into the other pocket while this rests in a pouch on my belt. So I have quick, quick access with this, and then if shit gets real, I pull this out. Like, that's how I see it, really. And previously, I was just doing that with this, and then I, I, I like having this because of the scissors. And the little tiny pliers are kind of like tweezers, so they've worked out for me. Um, I carry too much stuff, I'm aware. <laughs> Don't tease me in the comments, I swear. I know, I know. So, I love this thing. I do. And I will recommend it to anyone who... Want something small and light that packs a lot of punch, because that's what it does. It is true to its name, like its um, sister tool, the Power Leader. I mean, sorry, the Power Pint. It packs a lot of power for its size. Almost forgot, this is going to be a short one. Uh, Transmix, sponsor. As he describes it, a wonderful seasoning that Chef Trent has been using professionally for 25 years. Perfect for any protein, potatoes, vegetables, and so much more. To order, contact him at thechefTrent at gmail.com or go to his Facebook page, Taylor Spice Co., where you can get mini sample packets now for really cheap to try it out. This stuff is like an allspice. I use it on my mashed potatoes. You just add buttermilk, um, butter, and heavy cream and some of this oh my god it's so good it's uh got a base of these ingredients salt garlic onion pepper and herbs um made with all natural herbs and spices no fillers or preservatives gluten-free vegan and absolutely delicious as described on the bottle stuff is like an allspice use it on burgers fantastic use it on uh, fried chicken or like if you just want to pan fry chicken, like chicken breasts, it's wonderful. Just um, give the stuff a try. It'd be, well, I know I'm using it pretty much every time I cook. So there's that. I'll have a link to his Facebook page down in the description below. Check that out, guys, and have a wonderful night.